So anybody who thinks I really have a complete grasp on what's going on within this apiary, I think I've got you completely fooled. I'm just hanging on by the seat of my pants here, just trying my best to control the growth. Well, first off, I put so much energy in promoting the growth. And then because of that, I put so much energy into controlling that growth. So you never win, right? You want them to grow exponentially, but at the same time, if they do that, they swarm off on you. And then, I mean, you just defeat your purpose. So we work so hard to grow them out. And then we work so hard to harvest that strength and maintain that population. And I kind of think of it, a growing hive, I kind of think of it as a fire, right? So you have this fire and you just keep throwing logs on the fire. You just build it up and build it up. You throw too many logs on the fire at the beginning, this thing just starts, you know, getting out of control. So then you got to go and you got to reach in and you got to grab some of those logs and pull them out. And then every once in a while you throw gas in the fire and the whole thing just goes woof. And then what the hell are you supposed to do? I feel like I've just thrown gas on the fire. Some of my yards are just exploding in growth. Like I've just pulled out two boxes of brood through one of my yards here and I don't know, you know. We walk this fine line, we walk this balance. If they're too small, they don't produce that early crop of honey, you lose your yield. You leave them too strong, they swarm off on you and you lose your yield. What's that, and what are we supposed to do? So we're walking that fine line. So an operation that isn't swarming, typically, you know, you're below that, that line. You, I always figure that you're, if you're walking that line, you got some weak, you got some too strong, you, most of them are right down the center making you the money. We just want to make the whole apiary, we just want to make more of that apiary down that line, down that center. So it just keeps us on our toes and it just feels like we're completely out of control all the time. We don't see what we do in these hives until I always figure it's about three weeks after. We come in, we do our work, three weeks after we see what that works, kind of how it's influenced the colony. So we're going through now, I'm seeing that great big bloody hive here and how much do I pull away from them that, you know, I have 1,500 hives to go through. I don't have time to count brood frames right now because I've already gone through and we've done our major split round. We've done our major brood work. That, that is the time that we set these colonies up. So whether or not we did our job properly, it all will be shown as we approach the flow and these guys either swarm off on us or build these massive crops. So I skimmed two nukes of brood from this yard. And I've been here for, what, 40 minutes? We're after that fresh smell of nectar on those frames I skimmed out. So there's brood in those boxes, and they're after that nectar. So this tells me our time for making up splits, making up nukes is over.